the spotlight this morning. He's a number one internationally best-selling author, and he's from right here in Rhode Island. Don Winslow is known for his hit cartel trilogy, and now he's got a new book out on shelves right now called City on Fire. Don joins us now via Zoom to tell us all about it. Good morning, Don. Good morning. How are you? Good. Thanks so much for being with us. I was just looking at the uh, the New York Times bestseller list, and this book right here is number three on the bestseller list. So that is a great thing. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'm delighted. Um, so, so tell us about this book because I was reading that you had wanted to write this book, and it's actually three books. You've wanted to write this for for a long time. Yeah, I think I wrote the first sentence of this 27 years ago. Wow. You know, but I got busy doing other things, of course, the drug trilogy that you mentioned. Um, and then finally, but not coincidentally, uh, I had the time and space to sit down and write them. Okay, a lot of the scenes are going to be very familiar because the, the opening scene of this book takes place down at Matunic, which you're uh, really familiar about. Sure, I grew up not far from there, you know, just a mile up the road. Uh, I think I gave it a fictional name, you know, in the book uh, to be just, you know, uh, clean about it. But uh, yeah, I think people in Rhode Island are going to recognize a lot of scenes here because the whole book takes place here. Um, so it's it's basically about the, the Irish and the Italian mob, correct? Yeah, you know, what I did was I, I took the, the plot of the great classic, the Iliad, and tried to match that myth with sort of a contemporary crime story um, set, you know, in Rhode Island uh, with Irish and Italian people. Um, how long does it take for you to, to put something like this together? Because I was also going through stuff and it said you've already completed all three of, of the books that, that, that go along with this. Yeah. Uh, listen, as I said, the first one I started quite a long time ago, and it took me a long time. But once I was in the groove there, you know, and, and locked down like everybody else, uh, the next two books, they took about, I would say, two years each. So not that much time. So one of the main characters' name is, uh, is Danny, uh, Danny Ryan. He's a, he's a longshoreman. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, Danny starts life as a longshoreman in Providence and a fisherman, uh, you know, down south. Uh, he marries the uh, youngest daughter of the Irish mob boss, and for that reason, he gets dragged into this conflict. Okay, so a lot of these stories are, are going to be somewhat familiar because you said you kind of like took things from, from growing up here in Rhode Island, too. So, so do friends and family look at, these, look at these stories or books and go, oh, is this about so-and-so? Is this about so-and-so? Do I know this person? No, I don't think so. I didn't, you know, I based them on, you know, a lot of different stories from New England, from across the country, uh, certainly some local, but I, but no character is based on any particular person. I don't think you could go through and say, oh, this is him, this is him, because really they're all fictional. Um, your your career has been just incredible. Um, you've been so blessed with so many uh, books that you have have written. What is it What is it like to you and, and mean to you that so many people, when you put out a new book, as we were saying, it's already on the New York Times bestseller list. They must go out and get this book. You know, it's amazing to me. I think you use the word blessed, and that's exactly the word. I've, I've been so lucky and so fortunate in my career. I've had a, a much bigger career, you know, than I ever dreamed and probably that I deserve. And so I just feel very, very lucky. Okay, what is it like for you to come, uh, to come home? I know you, have, you do come home sometimes, um, but you, you do have other places throughout the country. What are some of the things that you love and miss about Rhode Island when you're not here? Well, you know, I come home a lot. We live here half the year, and so uh, I'm back here frequently. Oh, man, so much, you know, uh, those beaches, you know, East Matunic, Matunic, uh, Black Point, um, real clam chowder, legitimate <laughs> clam chowder with, with clear broth uh, is a big deal to me. Uh, fish and chips. You, you can't get really great fish and chips on the West Coast, sorry. And, uh, and the people, you know, so many friends here. Uh, Ocean State Waves Baseball uh, in Wakefield, sure. I miss. And, you know, so uh, there's so many things. Well, next time you're here in Rhode Island, we would love you to uh, to come back and come on the show when you can bring. Well, maybe when the when the next book comes out, Don. So so nice to talk to you. I am a a big fan of yours. Thank you very much. Nice to talk to you. Thanks for taking the time. You are very welcome. Now you can pick up your copy of City on Fire. It is available right now.